Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakodash, and also double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually roll very well to this very day. That is continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and also Shalom to the whole elect that is continually laboring this work. And give a diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith, truth, and sincerity, and also in all charity. Now, uh, the topic of this video is going to be entitled, The Plagues Are in Full Effect. Alright, now what I mean by the plagues, I mean the plagues, which is concerning this place, uh, America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible. You know, now they're starting to, to, to come forth in full effect. You know, because it's been numerous events going on around the world, which was prophesied in the scriptures, first and foremost, that's happening now. All right. You no know, famine is at the doorstep with uh comes with a food shortage. You have uh pestilence that's also hit the soils of America. An economic crisis that's starting to ramp up even more due to uh, Donald Trump uh, permanently signing off or, or, or backing away from the trade deal with China and now you have this recent occurrence actually two occurrences you had uh, I believe it was in Colorado you have a shooting that took place right which is a uh, furthering the uh, agenda of martial law and also as well you have the Israeli state that basically uh, put the blame on Iran for the rockets that were shot from Gaza over into the uh, to the land of Israel alright so all these things happening back back to back that goes to show you that the Lord is no longer allowing this place to continue. He's no longer allowing Babylon the Great to, to continue in the wickedness that it has been. All right. Because now it's time for the Lord to judge Babylon. All right. Now it's the time for the Lord, who these people inwardly call God and Jesus with their true names. Are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in ancient Hebrew, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Now it's the time for the Lord to judge this place. Okay? And everything has been happening, and, and really, you, you notice it's a, it's a domino effect. And we always been speaking about a domino effect. One thing is going to lead to another. So with these things happening, it's going to lead to the point to where it's going to be all out war, which pursuant to the scriptures as uh, the third woe. And it's also heading towards a, a, a militarized police state. All right. Everything is shut down. Nothing comes in. Nothing goes out. All right. The cities are going to be locked down. And that's when the time of martial law is going to be fully implemented. All right. Where you have your so-called rights taken away from you. So once again, with that being said, let's lock you. That's it. Something's going on. But yeah, like I said, concerning this uh, particular, this particular notion concerning the plagues you know the, the Lord spoke about these things before time alright he's spoken about them back during the time of the ancient world and they're happening now alright you see the people they can't put it off any longer man alright you can't put off any longer that the Lord is starting to, to uh, bring forth his words 
the prophecies were spoken about in the Bible. You can, you can't, you can no longer put that off anymore. All right, it's evident that our Lord is is near, and it's also evident that the prophecies which are concerned in the scriptures are coming to pass now in this time. Just let you know that this is the very last time, man. Now, if you go read Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, the ninth verse. If I'm not mistaken, it tells you that Jacob, or should I say Esau, is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, with the end of the age, the end of the world is going to be with the rule of Esau, which he's ruling right now, which Esau is the, is the true biblical nationality of the so called white man, which his name was changed to Edom. So, this time that we're living in right now, this age is going to end with the rulership of Edom. And then, Jacob we're spoken about in that same scripture is going to begin be the beginning of it that followeth Jacob is going to be the beginning of the kingdom of the everlasting kingdom starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai being at the very head alright now I'm going to go ahead and jump to the precepts it's the book of uh, second interest now with this particular chapter now this chapter like I mentioned before at the beginning of the video well, the title of the video is that the plagues are in full effect. Really, the second edge is the 15th chapter is in full effect right now, man. All right. And guess what? It's only going to get worse. Okay. And let me actually, I'm going to rephrase that. It's only going to get worse for you people <laughs> that's uh, living comfortably here in America. But it's going to get, uh, as time passes on, and we continue to hear these things happen left and right. That only puts joy in our hearts to see these things happen. Because we're close to the end of this rulership. Alright? But to the people that are here, it's, it's, it's like nails on a chalkboard. You know, they don't want to hear it. But they're going to have to hear about it because it's, we're, at, we're right at the doorstep. And it's happening right, right here in front of their faces. Okay? That's the book of 2nd Andrews, the uh, 15th chapter. <clears throat> Starting the first verse. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations of against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right? Incredulity means unbelief. Because the people are not going to even consider it until it's right in front of their faces. I mean, I mean, we, I mean, we're seeing these news outlets reporting on different things of that nature, and it's right in front of their faces, right? But here it is; they're still not taking heed. And all the time when somebody will take heed is if it actually happens to them. If, if it if it affects that particular individual. Then they start to care, but when they see something happening around the world that doesn't that doesn't uh, affect them per se, you know they don't they don't care about it. But they are going to care when that time comes when it really does affect them. All right. So I'm going to start at uh, verse four, reading on. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. See? So all the unfaithful will die in their unfaithfulness. It's going to come a point in time where this word is not being pushed out anymore. Okay? You're not going to hear this word on the airways as you hear it right now. And when that time comes, they're going to be looking for us. But they're not going to be able to find us. Going to be searching high and low for this word, and they're not going to be able to find it, man. Because they chose not to take heed right now at this time. All right? Now, um, verse 5 says, Behold, say the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right? And these are the plagues that the Lord has set in store for this current time. All right? 
sword, famine, death, and destruction. On top of that is pe also pestilence. All right. Which is also spoken about in the book of Second Andrews about how the pestilence uh, uh, covering this, this planet Earth in this time right now. All right. The pestilence and the plague. So again, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right, because the Lord always makes sure to put in famine, no matter what. It's lucky. So the Lord makes sure to always add in famine, because famine is a, is a major plague. like the scriptures say um, perfectly paraphrased in the book of Lamentations it says that it's, it's much better to die any other way you know roughly paraphrasing than to be stricken with famine or be stricken with uh, hunger because your body starts to pine away and you start suffering man you start to feel your stomach eat itself from the inside that's not a comfortable feeling man you know, having that feeling of your your stomach eating itself on the inside out. And that's going to be the judgment of these people, man. All right. Especially two thirds of our people. Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans are going to have to end up facing the judgment of famine. All right. Now, uh, verse six. It says, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. See? So wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth at this point in time, man. All right? And you just take a look around. You don't, even, you don't really have to even explain it. But, yeah, we do have to explain it, you know, just to shed light on it. But if you just take a look around, and the things that you see are completely contrary to what the Lord had, had had in store for the planet Earth. Because America, the way America is set up, is completely against the counsel of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. The ways of righteousness, man. The way the basically the ways of life. So this place is against life itself, man. Alright. So again, it says the wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel and this is the, the, the mouth of the Lord. This is his words, which I'm reading out of, right? It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them to, in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right, so he's not longer going gonna, gonna to allow these people to exercise their, their wickedness and exercise their, their, their profane works their hurtful works here on the soils of America and other parts of, parts of the world so the Lord is no longer holding his tongue anymore alright now he's starting to spring into action okay because it's been enough talking already you know we've been uh, speaking on this for years and years and on top of years starting with the apostle elders of great millstone the men of the Lord on down to the rest of the other brothers we were speaking on this concerning prophecy for so long. Now the Lord is starting to spring into action. All right. Because those complaints have been going into the ears of our Lord consistently. That's the parable of the uh, widow that was um, searching for, for the, the Lord of the land. And the Lord, the king said, because of this widow, because she troubled me with a constant complaining. Now I have no choice but to spring into action. That's what the Lord is doing right now because we're we're the widows right now, man. All right, and we have been consistently bugging the Lord to do something, man. Now He's starting to now He's starting to spring into action. Now He's starting to to uh, execute His judgments. All right. Now reading on it says, uh, "Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me." And the souls of the just complain continually. See, and that's, that's the spirit. So the souls of the just complain continually. See? Hey, call all you how about Shmuel Shai. 
So the souls of the just have been complaining continually. All right. And the Lord has been hearing that. So the Lord would have no choice but to, but to, to uh, start judging this place. All right. Now, verse nine, it says, and therefore, said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right. And this is talking about America, because America is known as the modern day Egypt. You go read the book of Revelations. Um, it speaks about this place being um spiritually called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified so with this Egypt that we're in right now the Lord is saying he's not going to he's not going to long no longer suffer us to dwell in the land of Egypt he's not, not going to long no longer suffer us to dwell in this in this cesspool which is America all right why because our people has led as a flock to the slaughter all right. They've been led to the flock to, to the slaughter. You know, they think that this place is paradise. But when reality hits them, they see that this place is nothing but a slaughterhouse for our people. Our people getting taken out spiritually, mentally, and physically. All right. Just how you lead a kettle to the slaughterhouse, they don't know where they're going. But once they get there and they see that it's not all what it's cracked up to be, then guess what, man? <laughs> That's when reality hits. All right. Now, um, right now it says, verse 11 said, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And that's Yahweh Shai. All right. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. And would destroy all the land thereof. See? So the Lord, just how he plagued Egypt, now he's gonna plague this Egypt with pestilence, famine, sword, death, and destruction. Alright. And you're starting to see that gradually happen. Because the Lord, throughout the course of history, always dealt with gradualism. One thing leading to another. And that's what you're seeing right now, gradualism. You're starting to see things happen left and right all right you started to seeing food shortages food is, has has become starting to become scarce the money is no good all right the money is losing its value trade deals have been have gone out the window all right war is on the horizon man and what war leads to is thermonuclear destruction which we've been speaking about so guess what? At the end of the ordeal, this place is gonna it's gonna end ultimately by thermonuclear destruction, by by way of fire. All right. Now I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna grab the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter. And I'm starting verse seven. It says, "How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. But she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. And that's how America has always been." All right. Because America has, has been living in, uh, in a uh, constant state of rest. All right. And that's the pride of America saying that you're never going to go down. You're not going to see widowhood or the loss of children. You sit a queen. You're never going to be a widow. That's the pride of America. In other words, America is, is, is stating that they'll never go down. They'll never see any, any major war on the soils of America. They'll never see any death go on here in America due to war. Guess what? And the Lord it has has put down the pride of America by bringing these plagues right to the door the doorsteps of Babylon, man. All right. Now now they can't say anything. Okay. This so-called great country that they proud proud of this this place to be. Now it's starting, starting, it's starting, it's turning into a shithole. Okay. Verse eight. It says, "Therefore shall a plague come in one day, death and mourning and famine." See, the Lord always remember to put in famine. 
and she shall be utterly burned with fire for strong is the Lord power who judges her see so those plays are going to come in one day uh, death mourning and famine man alright so it's going to be a time to where this place is getting ultimately judged left and right by Yahweh Bashem El Shai and we're coming to that time right now alright and at the end of that guess what it says she's going to be utterly burned with fire for strong as the Lord power who judges her right now that's going right into Zechariah which I'm um, I didn't quote it but it's, it's leading right up into Zechariah man Zechariah the 14th chapter because this is the ultimate plague that's going to end America the end of the regime of America and end these these people's lives man the ones that have exercised themselves in wickedness like I read earlier in the second edge of the 15th chapter all right. Now Zechariah the 14th chapter, and I'm start at uh, it's like it. uh, verse 12. It says, "And this shall be the plague with the Lord Yahweh Bashem El Shai will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Who's Jerusalem? The Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, consists of primarily the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right. This is the judgment. This is the ultimate plague." It says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. How is that done? By way of fire. When your flesh is consuming away while you're on your feet, your eyes consuming away, your tongue is consuming away. Everything that's, that's, that's on your body or every, everything that's, that's, that's covered uh, over your, your skeletal <laughs> your skeletal muscle or your skeleton, your bones, all that's going to be consumed away. I'll give you an example. Uh, Terminator 2, when Sarah Connor, the, the, the woman that played uh, Sarah Connor, when she had that dream of a thermonuclear destruction of the city, her flesh consumed away until it was nothing but a skeleton. That's how you people are going to end up. But guess what? You're going to end up as dust. So it's going to be way worse than, than, than uh, what was shown in that movie. All right, for the wickedness of your uh, for for your uh, your wicked deeds, man, and rightfully so. All right, but that pretty much wraps up this video and this lesson. You know, just to uh, throw in, um, <clears throat> throw in some scriptures with the things that are happening around the planet Earth because this is this is these these are events of, of biblical proportion. You know, that's that's another good topic or another good vid, uh, title of the video. Uh, biblical uh, events of biblical proportions. All right, but you know, let's wrap up this video and this lesson in our Lord's will. It was edifying to the body of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and to the members of the Holy Elect. And hopefully, this was an eye opener to the members of the Holy Elect that are just now tuning in and made this warning go out to the uh, the members of the Holy Elect. This the sound of the alarm, the sound of the trumpet. May it reach their ears so they can hear and uh, be warned. And return back to our, our power, which is Yahweh, once again in the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son Yahweh Shai. And also double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that still to this very day continue to rule very well. That's also teaching the same things in this doctrine, in this truth, the prophecies, and all faith, truth, and sincerity as well. All right, that's our continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. And also Shalom. Peace and safety to the whole elect that's also doing the same things in his work, that's also pushing his word headstrong and saint in the same manner, in the same spirit of faith, in the spirit of truth, and the spirit of sincerity, and all charity, 